Berry, citrus, and jasmine, which is not, if I said berry, citrus, and jasmine, you would not go, Halloween candles. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Have I been shopping for more summerween? Possibly a little bit. And I'm back. Hi. I missed you guys. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Mayor. I am a retired makeup artist, esthetician, hair stylist, and nail tech. And now I am a private doggy stylist and pet sitter slash farm sitter. And I live on a mountain in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by people who need their pets styled and their farms sat. Let's just do this unboxing real quick, okay? Because this has been sitting here and also I'm going to open it. It's Bath and Body Works. So, of course, I made the mistake of looking at my Google News Feed, and they said, hey, Bath and Body Works Halloween stuff is out. Now, I have to agree with a lot of the things that I saw that they are out of their GD minds with how much they're charging for some of their stuff now. Is it me or are they getting greedy, greedy, greedy? The greedy, greedy, greediness is off the charts anymore. I'm still not drinking coffee, I'm drinking tea. So, uh, in shocking news, for those of you keeping score with your 2024 bingo card, I am now down 33 pounds since last summer. So 33 down, I have not gained anything. I just very am slowly trending down. Hubby and I and the dogs went for a hike yesterday. It was beautiful. Uh, look, I waited to do this on camera because this is like so... Oops. I was gonna do that before and I'm like, no, I'll do it on camera, okay. I really like this new box though. I like that the box is like, okay, and then this is like, I almost said serrated. I think it's called perforated, not serrated. This is a really nice box. Is that why they raise their prices so much? They gotta pay for these bougie boxes with the serrating and the rip across the top. I gotta say, it looks like it's probably less chance of anything being broken in here. Also for what I ordered, this is a humongous box. All right. Look at that, you do this and it like, this whole little thing pops open like this. Oh, that's really nice. Okay, this is one of those, you know you're old when you're like, this is a good box, I'm gonna keep this box. What is this? I have no clue, now I need scissors. I only got three candles and I was gonna get more, but you know I have a ton of candles. I have really cut down on my candle buying as you've probably noticed. When is the last time you saw me do a candle video? <laughs> it's a long time. I have been burning through candles, though, like crazy. If you hear squeaking in the background, go... S if you hear squeaking, go check out my community tab, and you'll see where it's coming from. There's an elephant mouse in the room. Okay, who doesn't want to see some Halloween Bath & Body Works, though? And I did buy only things that were on sale because I'm like, their stuff is so expensive. And the candles were buy one, get one free. I only got three candles because I burnt through about six candles in the last couple of months here. I didn't even replace all the candles I burnt through. I only replaced three. I was kind of excited about a couple of these too. They had really good reviews. One of them's something that, a scent that I've had before. I also got some wallflowers refills. I'm on the fence about these, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Let me grab a knife so I can open this thing. I will be right back. <gasps> oh, oh my God, I'm so excited. I forgot I got this. Okay, except for, do I have a soap dispenser that, I have to get a, I have to get a Bath and Body Works soap to put in this. It's a dispenser thing. Now I can remember what it is. Okay, this is really cute. Since my home is like spooky year round, I had to get this. I'm opening this first because it's really cute and we need to see it. I make sound, but does it need a battery? I like that it's like this rubbery silicone. Okay, so it's this is the first thing I got. Let's just do this. Look how cool the detail is with the skulls though. And the big spider, love it. So you put the soap in here. How, how do it work? Press dispenser to activate sound. Sound washes off after 20 seconds, proper hand washing time. That is my 20 seconds or whatever to wash my hands. So 
a funny thing happened. I look different. I'm wearing something different. Hey, I got the same headband on and the same hoodie. But I was doing my Bath and Body Works review of my new candles I got. And I unboxed everything. And I showed you everything I bought. And guess what happened? I went to look at my computer and I thought that I had uploaded all the clips from my camera into my laptop and I did not and then I deleted the clips and it's gone forever. So this is take two of my Bath and Body Works candles. You will not see me unboxing everything because I already did that and it went into the void. But you did get to see the little spider thingy that holds the soap. My husband, I was right, he totally got a kick out of it. He loved it. I was washing my hands and he's like looking around he's like, is that playing music? And I said, yeah, it tells you how long to wash your hands. He was just laughing. He thought it was the cutest thing ever. So yay, I was right. Also, since I had recorded that video, I had actually plugged in one of my wallflowers. This is one that I've had for a while. It's got the crystals in it. I think I got this for Halloween a couple years ago. So this is the cinnamon pumpkin, sweet cinnamon pumpkin wallflower in this one. I am very much liking it. It is not as strong as I thought it was going to be. I really expected, it's in my living room, and I expected that whole room to be smelling like sweet cinnamon pumpkin, and it's very mild. I almost think if I was going to plug this one in, it would have to be in a, in a wall, in a outlet that's like higher up on a wall maybe. I don't know. But it's behind the couch, and we walk through there all the time, and the guinea pigs are not real far from there, so... I like to keep that area fresh smelling, but I'm just not getting a real strong smell out of this one. All right, so the wallflowers I got were Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin, which I have been using, Pumpkin Cupcake. They're normally $7.98 or something, and they were 5 for $25 something, $25 or something. That's why I always stock up on these. And then I realized, went downstairs, I did the same thing before. I went, hey, let me stock up on these because they're 5 for 25 Actually, these I bought when I was with Jeremy. He came out this spring and went to Bath & Body Works in the mall. And I bought a whole bunch of these because they had last year's Halloween ones on sale. I will show you my last year's Halloween ones just really quickly. The ones I got, well, these are the ones I got on sale at the mall a while back. I never showed them in a video, so I'll just show you some of the smells I like. This is Vampire Blood. I got Vampire Blood in the past. Actually, I think Vampire Blood is in the soap dispenser that you just saw, and it's kind of like berry scented. I have the candle of Vampire Blood right here also. So it's a Vampire Blood kind of year. I got the candle and I got the wallflower. It is Red Berries, Night Blooming Jasmine, and Petrifying Plum is the scent of this. And I, I know this smell. I've had it before. I actually just washed my hands with the soap, so I know I like this one. I got Ghoul Friend. This I bought a couple years ago, and this was the old Ghoul Friend candle. It is almost gone. I, I burnt it like halfway. So I'm trying to finish this one off before I start the new ones. It's kind of a clean smell. I quite like it. It's a very good girly bathroom smell. Ghoul Friend. I would say girly bathroom. I could not put this in my husband's bathroom. He'd be like, what is that? Again, I don't know what the scent is of Ghoul Friend. I would look it up, but my phone's not here. You can look it up if you want to know. But it does have more of a girly scent to it. That's the best way I could describe it. I have a love-hate relationship with this. It smells like a really good body wash. <laughs> like this in a body wash, I would probably really like, although it's very sweet. It's very on the sweet side, very sugary smelling. But I do like that smell, so I'm going to try it in the wallflower. I've never tried the wallflower. I had the soap and I had the, this is the old candle. So I decided to try this this year. And my last one is pumpkin pecan waffles, treats and sweets. Pumpkin pecan waffles just sounds like it would smell really good in my kitchen. So, or in the dining room. So saving that for that. Before I move on to the three candles that I got, whoa, almost dropped it. I got, I don't know if I can lift them all. No, I got two Halloween candles and a fall-ish with the pretty lid candle. Candles, have them for the following year. There goes Lydia again. Welcome to my house, five dogs barking. And now, this is full. There's all my wallflowers. I do have three of them in my home right now. There's three different ones. I have the Snow White 
the hand holding the apple with the skull in it. I have that one from a couple of Halloweens ago. I have this one, and I have the one with the the raven on the crystal ball, which I or on the moon crystal ball, moon, whatever it is. It's in my guest room. That's my favorite one. Okay, I'm having to manage dogs today. They've been very naughty today. Let's do the candles. My puppy's squeaking a toy, which means that it's going to make everybody start barking. Anyway, let's do the non. Let's do the fall non Halloween one first. So I got day, a day at the cafe. The way I decided to get this was I wanted to find the candle. God, even closed, I can smell it. I wanted to find the candle with the most reviews and the most like five star, four and a half. No, nothing's like a pure five, but with the most reviews and the most positive reviews. It just so happened to be when I looked a day at the cafe. Hello, there we go. Let's focus. So it has a little coffee shop, but here's the cool thing. It's the lid. My husband was just crazy about the lids, too, when I showed him this. And he loved the smell of this one. Oh, my God. I see why it has so many good reviews. I'm going to I'm gonna pull a Jeremy, my friend Jeremy, who helps me review candles. We have to do some candle reviews this fall when I see him. I'm going to pull a Jeremy and say it has a slight bake shop smell to it. But the... It says, Day at the Cafe, rich cold brew coffee, frothed milk, sweet caramel syrup blended with ice. I don't get ice. I'm really getting the sweet caramel syrup and the frothed milk. Can you hear my ducks going crazy? I don't know if the camera's picking up. My ducks are all going nuts right now or something. Should I check and make sure they're okay? Maybe I should. Hold on. They're normally not this loud. Every animal in my life now does not want me to do this video. Okay, now they quieted it down. Oh, so this one, really love the smell of it. I will see. The cold throw is great. The cold throw is when you don't have it lit. It's very vanilla smelling, though, which is weird. I think that's the frothed milk smell. I don't get as much coffee as I would like. It's very light on the coffee. I think they need a more pow-in-your-face coffee added into this. It's hitting more bake shop than it is coffee, but I still love it. It's, it's very sweet. But I think if it had more of a coffee scent to it, it would balance it out a little bit. When it will smell good is if I have this lit and I'm brewing coffee in my kitchen, it will balance out nicely. I bet that would smell so good when you're making breakfast and you have coffee going. I don't dislike it. If you like a sweet milk kind of a scent, like sweetened milk or like the vanilla-y, caramely baked goods, this is your girl right here. This is your candle. So this is $26.95, not on sale. And the candles were buy one, get one free. And I'm such an idiot. I ordered three candles instead of four. I could have gotten one extra free candle, but no, I'm not so smart. I think I was just being really mindful and saying, I don't need any more candles. I didn't even need these candles. I'm trying to burn through all my Halloween candles, which I am. I am going through a lot, but these are the two Halloween candles I chose to get. I have Spooky Moon Teeny and Vampire Blood. Vampire Blood, I'm not going to talk about the scent a lot. I already read it. Red Berries, Night Blooming Jasmine, Petrifying Plum. It has a very berry scent to it. Clean, fruity. It's very fruity smelling. I love how they went all out with the lids. If you're wondering where the $26.95 candle comes in, it's this lid. It's all like raised. It's like a relief. The red moon is really nice. So I actually got this for downstairs because our downstairs, our theater room is red. So this will look really good down there. I'm sure it'll smell really good burning down there as well. My kitchen is a very dark blue and all black. You can kind of see the wall over here. So I got the spooky moon teeny and I really love the label on this one. Got the skeleton band going on. The label's great. Same lid. This is Mystical Berry Potion, Spooktacular Sponge Sugar, and Spellbinding Citrus. Let me read that again. Berry Potion, Sponge Sugar. It's very sweet, and I really get the citrus. Yeah, you know what? It's a nice blend. I get the berries too. Berry potion. Berry and citrus is always a really nice mix. I like it. I like it. I like it. If you want me to let you know once I burn these, I can do a hot throw review and let you know how they burn. 
my crows are here. <laughs> I can let you know how they burn and how they smell. Let me know if you want to know how they go, how much they smell up the room. I have not bought a large Bath & Body Works candle in a very long time. I don't even have any more. I just have a couple, you know, this one I got on sale and this from whatever year I got this one. Does it have a year on the bottom? It would be so cool if they put a year on the bottom so I'd know when I got this. I don't know. It doesn't say. I wish it did. Maybe I'll, I should do that when I have my candles, when I know I'm not going to burn through them. I should put, what year was this? All of their Halloween candles are either, they do like pumpkin-y fall spices, or they do like these berry potions, citrusy kind of things. There aren't a lot of them that have kind of really spooky incense graveyard fog kind of smells, but Moonlit Graveyard is one of my favorites. I always like that one. It's if you like the spooky smells. It's kind of surprising. These two are Halloween candles I got, and they're both like berry scented. Berry, citrus, and jasmine, which is not... If I said berry, citrus, and jasmine, you would not go Halloween candles. But here we are. I do love the designs on them, though, and they are going to smell really good. And plus, I do Halloween year-round here. So if I do want it to smell like fall candles in here, Spooky Moon Teeny is going to smell really good in the spring or the summer next year. Just saying. Candles don't like, it's not like this is going to go bad. This one I am definitely caramel. Caramel and yeah, not enough coffee smell, but I like it. Then again, I like, if I'm going to get a can, I guess to be fair, it says a day at the cafe. It's not a coffee scented candle. It's supposed to smell like a day at the cafe. So I guess they nailed it with that because you would have like the sweets in the coffee house. So yeah, when you walk in, I've actually walked in cafes that smell like this, so they nailed it with that. Me, personally, I just like my cafe with a little bit stronger scent of coffee. I agree with an article I saw that the Bath & Body Works Halloween stuff is getting outrageously expensive. Even just for these, like, $26.95 for a three-wick candle. That's it. Put a candle in the comments. <laughs> or what a, something else. Put something stinky in the comments. I'm going to see skunks. <laughs> flowers, feet. Oh my God. If somebody puts a foot emoji, drop your favorite emoji of one of your favorite smells in the comments below. So it could be a coffee cup. It could be flowers. It might not apply to everything. Don't put feet unless uh, don't put that. Well, maybe your favorite smell is feet. I don't, I won't judge your secret safe with me. Sometimes I, I don't know. Bath and Body Works doesn't suck. For They don't suck. I think they're just getting very expensive for what they are. I think what we're paying for, people, this is what we're paying for right now. This is where the $26.95 comes in, is these fancy lids. Really out of here this time. See you in the next one. Bye!